What's up? It's Tuesday and I just finished eating breakfast and I'm going to wash my hair now. I have a photo sh no not a photo shoot, a fashion show. It'll be there at 2.45. I need to wash my hair for that and this will, this week I'm going to wash my hair. The next week I'm going to wash my hair and that'll be the last week until I get my protective style. So I'm excited about that. I'm going to just wash my hair with the Moray shampoo that I've always used. I use that to wash my hair with this keratin treatment. But for my conditioner, because I'm out of the moray, my dad actually bought this for me. It's called Botanica. And it seems like to be a really good product. He also got me the shampoo and it's like sulfate free and all that good stuff. But this one is, it's loaded with botanical fruit and plant extracts to help leave the hair manageable, smooth, and silky. Formulated with silk protein for strengthening and papaya extract for nourishing and protection. It will help prevent hair shedding and breakage. So I'm gonna let you guys know how this goes. Let me go wash my hair. This is how my curl pattern is looking currently. It's been about two months since the keratin treatment. So, I mean, they're, they're trying to come back. And that conditioner I use is like amazing. Uh, my hair feels like silk right now. I don't know where my dad got that from, but when I find it, I'll link it. It's not sponsored at all it just yeah my hair feels really really good all right let me do my hair and uh, jump all right so I finished with my hair I am satisfied with the results this time around it is like 145 and I don't have to be there till 245 but I decided that I'm gonna try to find a tattoo place real quick to take out I have a million earrings in my ear and um, this show that I'm doing is for a luxury jewelry brand and I just don't want to risk them like you have too many piercings or something because I was looking at their pieces last night which I should have done when I first booked the brand to just get an idea of the brand uh, their pieces are like $23,000 so I was wondering why they were paying me so well but I kind of want to just hurry up and figure out uh, a place for them to take out like my piercings I get here real quick and on my basic bandeau I promise you guys I wash my clothes like all the time I really need to stop that because I feel like I just need to buy maybe two or three of something so I don't have to keep running the washing machine. Um, but I just have on my top, my basic black strapless top. And then I got these pants from Zara and they have a slit in the back, which you can't see. But these shoes from Jeffrey Campbell are everything. Uh, I'm gonna show you guys a better picture, but I got these a few weeks ago for a fashion show just to wear like there But um, these will be my modeling shoes for when I need to be a little bit more fancier uh, Arriving to my go sees or castings Wait, what's in the that? world? Oh, I have that one. It's in bits like but, but I can't I can't anytime I get a new one I buy a new one even even the babble of pros. This is like 2017 or 18 and every time I buy a new one It's never as much This is just so good this one So it's like nine minutes to 11 and I just made it back home. That was one of the best shoots, or not shoots, uh, gigs that I've ever done. The people were super duper nice and it was really easy. Like I didn't have to do much. I was there from two to 10.30 and I worked really for only like 45 minutes and the rest was just like sitting around waiting. So. It was like really nice because they paid really, really well. And they let me have out my camera too, like a couple of times. Um, but I got to wear super duper, uber expensive jewelry, like million dollars worth of jewelry. They had security guards walking around uh, with us and it was at this really, really fancy hotel in Chicago. So it was a good day. It was like a lot of fun. It was a nice break from my regular day-to-day -day work. Um, but now I am going to wrap up my hair, take a shower, kind of hungry though I shouldn't really eat this late because I have to take digitals for New York next week so I'm trying to like get toned for that but yeah let me go to sleep because I don't want to keep rambling I'm really tired and I have work in the morning so see you guys mañana good morning today is Wednesday and I'm just going into work and then after work I'm helping a client 
make a few extra dollars. I'm just, I'm really sleepy because I went to bed really late last night. This is how my hair lasted in the wrap last night. Didn't take out the clamps, but I should have, but we'll see. This was really easy. I thought I was gonna have to struggle because I had a bunch of like holding spray in my hair yesterday. Not a bunch, but I have holding spray in my hair. But it feels like there's no product in my hair right now. I'll just kind of spruce up my edges and this will be the style for today. Can't do edge control. They just are doing whatever they want to do this morning. All right, so I'm just gonna keep it like this for today. I will see you guys later. Good morning, so my camera is about to die. So what I'm gonna do is take my hair out of this wrap. I'm gonna style it and just get back on here and show you guys what I ended up doing. So I'll be right back. Okay, so what I did was put my hair like half up in a little bun bun back there and then left the little two pieces out in the front. And I'm gonna put on this hat because it's raining out. Okay, good morning. Today is Saturday. Yesterday, I skipped because I was just running super late and I couldn't pull out a camera even for two seconds. But today, I'm just going to clean and tomorrow, I'm going to wash my hair, hopefully for the last time. I'm still waiting for my girl who does my sewing to get back to me to see if I can get it done later in the week. But I need to do my hair tomorrow because I have a shoot Monday and then I have to take digitals on Wednesday. For today, I'm actually going to oil my, my scalp and then just put some moisture on my ends and then tomorrow I'm going to do like a deep conditioning treatment and all that good stuff. Let me do that real quick. So to oil my hair I'm going to use the Jamaican black castor oil. I'm actually going to mix it with, they're not going to focus, but it is the Pink Natural Oils Blends Lush Growth Oil. And I have used a lot of this, probably got like this much left. And I will be using it a lot more but it's just the smells a little bit more potent. Um, but I always get compliments like when I'm out and I have this in my head, but it has castor tea tree oil Berry sage oil rosemary coconut sweet almond and lavender oils and vitamin E So it's like a really really great oil for hair growth The reason I'm mixing these two is because you're not supposed to put Jamaican black castor oil on your hair by itself And then for the ends of my hair, I'm going to just put my ORS hair fertilizer and then still in that moisture with these two oils. I do want to show you guys though the amount that I put. So, got about that much of the pink hair growth oil. And then we got about just a little bit less of the Jamaican black castor oil. Got my hands all coated. And just massaging it in my scalp. I'm gonna massage this in here for like 60 seconds. And then with my ORS cream, I'm gonna use about this much for my whole head. And then we're gonna mix a little bit more of both oils. I'm gonna paddle brush my hair to get the shredded hairs out and then also just to help to give you the product. Then I'm just gonna put this in like a super loose ponytail and have my ends kind of sticking up so it's not in the ponytail holder so it's not like preventing really breakage like since today is I'm not really gonna going to see anybody here out. I just want my hair to be as like protected as possible yeah let me head out and i will see you guys tomorrow so it is sunday evening and i'm washing my hair today one of the last times that i'm gonna wash it before i get my protective style in i was texting the wrong number for the girl who does my sewing so i realized that i text the right number so i'm supposed to see her on friday uh tomorrow i have a shoot in the morning my hair is really oiled down from the oils that i put in there uh was it yesterday but i'm just really excited to get my hair in a protective style out the shampoo and conditioner i'm going to use today is the botanica hydrating shampoo and then the soaking conditioner so i had used this conditioner on my last wash day i had showed you guys and my hair came out feeling super silky and soft so uh these i believe well i'm pretty sure that i can use this with my hair and treatment because it's sulfate free and it's got a lot of good stuff in here so i'm really excited to try those new products that my dad got me but yeah i'm gonna wash my hair blow dry i also have to submit a uh, it's called a trigger audition this evening 
for a, a, a brand that's in Wisconsin. So I'm like, maybe I should move to Wisconsin and not New York. Cause I've been booking um, some things in Wisconsin, but my agency's base is in Wisconsin. Okay, so I washed my hair. That shampoo was super like conditioning. So I ended up switching it out for the Moray shampoo. And um, I think that shampoo is great for when I wash my hair and get ready to be in protective style. But in terms of like cleansing it with all that oil that I had in my hair, I don't think it was good for me. But if you're looking for a good conditioning shampoo, that is a great one. But of course, I'm so obsessed with the conditioner. My hair feels super duper soft, so I can't wait to um, straighten it out. Actually, I can't wait, but I just really, really love the way my hair feels with that. Right now, as my hair is air drying a little bit, or towel drying i am finally cooking i did tell you guys that i'm in the process of trying to change my diet a little bit so um i actually don't cook but i'm trying to make myself cook so i'm baking some chicken i defrosted some shrimp i got my curry sauce here from trader joe's i got my cauliflower rice and then i got some broccoli steaming so what i'm gonna do is make dinner tonight and lunch for tomorrow so i think for lunch i'm gonna have the baked chicken and maybe some broccoli and then for dinner tonight, I'm gonna have some cauliflower rice with the shrimp, with the curry sauce on top, and some broccoli. So hopefully it turns out okay. I will show you guys what it looks like when it's done, if it looks worthy to do. Right, so here's the final product. I'm proud of myself. So once I finish eating, I'm going to go ahead and just finish doing my hair. Do this video for this agency and go to sleep. Morning today is Monday. I need to leave right this second for my shoot, but I just wanted to show you guys. Uh, I just took my hair out the wrap, put a little heat at the root area right in the front, and then I have on my pants today that I made that I showed you guys in my last video. They got fixed and I'm obsessed. You got the little cargo pockets in the front and then we got some in the back. And then we got the little stack effect going. And I'm actually gonna throw on my uh, laser cut wool sweater because I got the belt yesterday too. All right, so here is the coat belted. Love it. I just have my hair up right now because I have on wool, so I don't wanna have my hair kind of touching that. But when I get to the shoot, I'll take this down once I take off my coat. Yeah, let me go because I'm running late now. So I'll check in with you guys probably there. All right, I'm finished with my shoot. I thought I was gonna be able to pull out my camera at the studio, but I had came a little late because I couldn't find parking. I was lugging all this stuff up, but the couple who shot me were so cute. I had so much fun and they showed me a few of the photos at the end of it and they're really great. So I can't wait to see it. But right now what I'm gonna do is try to find something to eat real quick because I don't like to come to work late and then go to lunch. So I'm trying to eat before I um, enter. Just don't know what I want need something healthy but anyway i will check in with you guys later all right so i was driving to work and of course past the chipotle which i didn't know was any chipotles around this area so of course i had to get it i guess chipotle is just my post shoot meals but uh i'm really excited to eat my chipotle just wanted to show you guys that this time i got tacos though i got excuse me two on a hard shell which i never actually used to get hard shell i always get flour but I just don't want to feel like super stuff today so I got that and then some chips and queso but yeah best to head back to work now just made it in from work I have on this shirt from Bershka just got it in the mail it is phenomenal I purposefully got it because it's a knit laser cut as well and I wanted to wear it with my wool laser cut jacket I know it's like doing way too much with the laser cut but I wanted to be extra because I wanted to take photos uh, on my laser cut on top of laser cut and just I'm so obsessed with this little combination I do have a pair of black wool pants coming that are just like this so as soon as that fit comes you, you won't be able to tell me anything I was thinking about waiting till Black Friday but I didn't want to risk my size being out because they were selling out but this top fits perfectly and I ended up getting a medium you guys can see in the back like it's just oh my favorite 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 top but it's not often that I get this excited about a clothing piece that I've bought but this is just oh then I got to show you guys my stuff that I got from Zara that I use for the shoot and then I'm going to return but just want to show you just in case you like might like it so I'm gonna try on those so this was a top that I was excited about but I'm not feeling it it's also too big I don't know why I didn't just get an extra small I think it would look a lot better if it was more fitted but on the hanger it looks really cute here's another little fit that I had got to wear um, I would normally wear something like this but for photos I figured it might be cool I mean, it's cute but it's not like I don't go out or do anything so here is another dress we ended up shooting in they really loved it on me 
I think it's really cute. I think it looks similar to a dress that I've already shot in, so I was hesitant of even purchasing it, but I knew they wanted like airy, light blue colors. I didn't want to do the typical jeans and t-shirt because I'm just like, everybody does that. So I decided to get something in this family, but it worked out. And this is the last thing I got. I tried to put it on, but I can't fit it. This area is too short. Yep, I got in an extra small, so I probably need a small. I pretty much got everything in smalls, and I think this black one in a medium. But let me know if you guys think that I should keep any of these pieces. I'm curious to know. I want to thank me for doing all this hard work.